Welcome to the Northeast Monsoon 2022 Outlook from COMK. If we look at the overall atmospheric dynamics currently we have a mature multi-year La Nina prevailing along with negative IOD which has started fading. This has resulted in a more mature La Nina forcing over maritime continent and adjoining areas compared to last year interfering with the west to east MJO transit much earlier compared to 2021 resulting in a stalled MJO over the maritime continent and adjoining areas. Interestingly this year the Lunina forcing has slightly shifted westward which is likely to be a major factor in the overall performance of Northeast Monsoon 2022. A look back at how MJO performed over the past few months confirms the Lunina interference with MJO unable to move into western hemisphere staying almost always around maritime continent and surrounding areas. After stalling for a few days around East Indian Ocean when MJO tries to revive as a fresh pulse it will once again move across Indian Ocean providing support to Northeast Monsoon 2022. In a way the current wind chart indicates what to expect for the upcoming Northeast Monsoon season keeping the overall dynamics in consideration. Pulses around maritime continent gradually moving across towards Bay of Bengal as they weaken and cross over Indochina Peninsula will create a conveyor belt of disturbances similar to how southwest monsoon 2022 sees. The presence of negative IOD, though fading away gradually, could bring a slightly different dynamic compared to last year in the form of a more pronounced NW movement from stronger disturbances. During the pre-Northeast monsoon onset or during the early days of Northeast monsoon there is a high probability of such northwest moving disturbances reach higher latitudes. To summarize 2022 is likely to be another active Northeast monsoon season with a high probability for above average rainfall over most parts of peninsular India, particularly around the east coast. The worry though is possible instances of extreme rainfall episodes due to urbanization around Chennai. Similarly flooding risks are high for a few rivers when disturbances move across peninsular India due to already high soil moisture saturation on account of good southwest monsoon season over the interior areas.